So Roman shot Tito Gonzalez, knocks out Caliafi in the fifth round, and I thought this was a fantastic performance by Roman Chapter Tito Gonzalez. Roman Gonzalez, we hadn't seen much of him in the last few years. You know, he obviously had that amazing fight at Madison Square Garden with Sora and Vasai. And for my money, I think in 2017, that was probably fight of the year for my money. Amazing fight. Absolutely fantastic with Run Vasai. He came back in the rematch and he just didn't look himself. He looked all over the place. He ended up getting stopped pretty badly in that fight in the fourth round. And then we just didn't hear anything from Chocolatito Gonzalez. It was just kind of, you know, not really anything really. He came back very low-key on the undercard of Canelo versus Golovkin 2. Got a nice highlight reel knockout that night, it has to be said. He was out of the ring for over a year again. Came back in Japan in an eight-rounder last December. So, actually it's quite a quick turnaround, it has to be said. Because he fought just the 23rd of December. And he stopped the guy in two rounds. So it has to be said a quick turnaround. Because he's come out now. It's only the end of February. Start of March. And he's fought Cal Yafai. A lot of people were saying that. You know. If this was the Gonzalez of a few years ago. Yafai's in trouble. Yafai's getting stopped. I thought this fight would go the distance. I thought it would be actually competitive. Because I thought. We probably don't have that Roman Gonzalez anymore. Like he is only 32 years old. But in. Especially at super flyweight against fights like Carlos Quadras, against only the Room Vasai fights. He's been getting hit a lot more. He looked a lot more vulnerable. I just didn't think that we had that same Chocolatito anymore. I thought that the Chocolatito who fought, you know, Estrada, who fought guys like Edgar Sosa, Brian Valera, I thought that Chocolatito's gone. That Chocolatito's gone. But in this fight, that Chocolatito came back because he looked sharp, he looked explosive. And Cal Yafai, I've never rated Cal Yafai, it has to be said. Yeah, he won his world title. He won his world title nearly four years ago, over three years ago, against a guy, Louis Conception, who was never that good to begin with. He fought a couple of guys from Japan who were never that good. Fought that David Kamana guy who took an absolute shellacking against Naomi Inoue and you know, was never quite right since. And even then, was never that good to begin with. Then he had that absolute gift over Israel Gonzalez and people if you ever seen that fight that was a robbery Gonzalez won that fight so I've always seen Yafai look a little bit shaky look a little bit you know edgy he can box a bit though it has to be said he was a well-schooled amateur he does have decent boxing skills not the biggest puncher in the world but he can be fast he can be a little bit explosive and has good boxing skills he didn't use any of them against Gonzalez he fought the fight that Gonzalez absolutely wanted he stood there he traded with him he did look the bigger guy you know, it has to be said. Yafai looked quite a bit bigger than Roman Gonzalez in there. Gonzalez, not the biggest super flyweight in the world. Cal Yafai at this stage, probably closer to the weight. He looked bigger, but that size was just negated by the explosiveness, the skill of Roman Gonzalez, the speed. He was landing body shots for fun. He was landing uppercuts on the inside. I don't think I found a round to give to Cal Yafai in this fight. He looked absolutely out of his depth in this fight. He really did. He was down in the eighth round. He was well behind on the scorecards, as far as I was concerned. One judge gave Gonzalez every round. One judge gave three rounds. I think he was one of the judges for the Fury Wild. He gave three rounds to Cal Yafai. Bizarre. Could not work out how you could give him more than three rounds. Could not work that out. Gonzalez looked razor sharp in this fight. He really did. He looked fantastic. And obviously he closed the show in the ninth round. Landed a 1-2. Peach of a right hand. You know, they say Gonzalez at super flyweight he's not a big puncher or he's not a devastating puncher he looked he looked a big puncher he looked devastating with that knockout you know Yafai went down referee Lewis Paban waved it off before Yafai could get up correct decision in my opinion um this fight was going one way and to be fair I don't think I don't think Yafai would have beat the count anyway even if the referee hadn't waved it off absolutely fantastic performance of Roman Gonzalez you know he really he's come back he's come back from the ashes because he looked when that room for sci-fi happened, he looked an old man. He looked an old man. He was stopped. You just thought, okay, he's had it. And even, I remember watching that fight on Sky when he fought room for sci-fi. And even they were saying, you know, he's done his bit for the little guys. He's amazing. He should be proud of everything he's done, but he's done. And no, he didn't look done in this fight. He looked fantastic. Looked razor sharp. We might even get to see this Estrada rematch, which I really want to see because there was talk of... Who was there? Was talking about Yafai versus Estrada. I think that was meant to happen on this card. That never happened. 
we might get Estrada versus Rufus or Gonzalez the rematch and I want to see that fight that's a very good fight and Estrada for me is more in his prime than Gonzalez is so you can imagine what Estrada would have done to your fight if this fight had happened so fantastic performance from Roma Gonzalez really enjoyed watching it the little guys I don't cover them enough but they are good fighters they really are so Roma Gonzalez one of the best one of the best around definitely built up a hall of fame resume and has definitely proven that he still has plenty left so excellent fight hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below subscribe of course if you are new and as always i will talk to you after